In the last couple of movies, our deployment diagrams showed only one node, and if that's the case in what you're diagramming, you probably don't need to create a deployment diagram, because a deployment diagram shows more than nodes and artifacts. It shows how those nodes communicate with each other. So to show this communication between nodes, you use a communication path. You might also hear communication paths referred to as communication associations or connections. And a communication path is just an association, a straight line between the two nodes, that is stereotyped with the name of the appropriate communication protocol. So in this case, let's say we're using the internet and these nodes are communicating via HTTP. So as you can see, a communication path indicates two things, that these nodes communicate and also how they communicate. There are a number of common stereotypes that you might want to use in your deployment diagrams for their communication paths, and here are some very common ones. We have HTTP and TCP IP, which are both internet protocols. We have RMI and JDBC, which are both Java. Uh, JDBC is a Java API uh, to access a database. Another database API is ODBC, and that's a Microsoft API for database access. We have remote procedure calls. We have synchronous. That stereotype might indicate the use of a message queue, for example. We have synchronous, where you have to wait for a reply, and web services, indicating that the communication path uses web services protocols such as UDDI, for example. So these are not an exclusive list, but a helpful list of common stereotypes to use, use with your communication paths. And here's an example of how you might put this together in a diagram. As you can see, we have three main nodes. We have a browser client, web server, and an application server. And the browser client and the web server communicate using HTTP. The web server and the application server communicate using RMI. Now inside the application server, we have an execution environment an EG, EJB container and a database management system. Notice that execution environments as well as devices can have communication paths. And so here we have the EJB container communicating with the database management system using the ODBC communication. So communication paths are helpful because they show connections between different nodes that allow communication and also the communication protocol that those nodes use to communicate along that path with each other.